Really, the, the first season was a lot of fun for me because there's a lot of great dynamics going on between uh, Yugi and, and uh, Yami and Kaiba and Pegasus um, and, uh, and I got to say Grandpa a lot. And, uh, but then uh, the, uh, the conclusion of the series too. Guys, okay, so like the beginning and the end were, were for me probably the stuff that was most emotionally resonant. Um, I, I, I can't think of a favorite episode, and, and in terms of, I mean, obviously I've seen it, but like my son and daughter watch it on Saturday, so I'll sort of catch it and hear it, and like, Dan, I'll check in and make sure it's not terrible, and I'm sort of like still in the right spot, and it's making sense. Um, I love the movie. I, I was Yeah, so, I like the movie a lot. I was so fun. psyched. I mean, I, I always wondered, like, they should put these guys together, and they did for Bonds Me on Time, and uh, I wasn't able to go to the premiere because uh, I was out of town, so I took my family, and we went down and just saw it in Times Square in New York City, and we saw it with a, a packed house that were like you guys. They were all hardcore fans. It was sort of like doing the duel. It was so exciting to watch the movie with them because they just appreciated it so much, so... And it was great to get to do something with Dan and that character, and, and I sort of wish they had done more of that. I mean, I think that could have made a really cool series, actually, if they they put Yugi and Yusei and Jade in the same show. It was also really fun, having not done The Pharaoh or Yugi for like six years, it was great to get back to them. It's sort of like reuniting with old friends. It was like, oh, I know these guys. That's fun. Actually, we'll take two more questions, and I'm gonna put it on the both of you to oh, choose. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we'll start with Dan. Okay. I choose the guy in the back there. <laughs> Which one? Yes, Dan. Uh, I I can't hear you without a microphone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Ready? I summon. Funny thing about Sniper this guy. <laughs> you know, he's named that actually because of a writer who worked in Fort Kids. I summon Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Dan Green, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Green. Uh, blue shirt. Yes, you. Uh, so, do you guys, like, ever randomly see yourself on TV and wonder, like, what people are thinking when you do the show? Like, how they react? And, like, usually for Dan, how did you feel doing it at the time of the series, like, doing what was that? How did you like feel about tying up the series and playing yourself as you be at the Vero? Oh, time? Right, right, right. How'd that go for you? Like, did you record that all at once or? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, I think I understand your question. Um, so uh, you, of course you care about you know uh, doing the job well, and, and at a certain extent though you. It's important not to take other people's reactions too personally, if they're negative, or even if they're positive, because you know then you're like, I am awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, and in terms of uh, wrapping up the series, it, it was actually yeah, it was kind of uh, emotional because it had become a large part of my life in a way. I indirectly I, I met my wife because of the show, and um, and uh, in, in terms of, I think what you were asking about how to, you know playing off of myself, uh, this is a question I get a lot. You record one character at a time, as opposed to bouncing back line for line. We would usually do Yugi first, and then go back and get the Pharaoh. Uh, and so, you know, after after laying down Yugi, I, I do the Pharaoh, and, and I'm trying to work off of the, my other performance. And I'm usually thinking, Man, that guy who does Yugi sucks. But uh, it was it was always uh, it was always fun to do. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I I don't really think too much about what I'm doing except when I'm doing it and I don't sort of reflect on what it means for the show until I come to something like this and get a chance to meet fans and stuff and then you get a sense of what it means to a lot of people so it's cool. Yeah I, I think uh, I, can, I can say for both of us that we are completely surprised, thrilled and honored to be here. Indeed. So thank you. What Dan said. Give it up for Dan Green and Greg Abbey. Thank you very much. Yeah. Side of the, um, on the main stage. So, uh, see you over there. We'll be there.